Mystical Moon, Raigeki. I'm gonna roll the dice and try this. I know I said I wouldn't, but come on. It's got potential. So we will be one equip short later. You always end up with three mystical moons after the Keith farm, but still. If I can just actually get past my, that's the most important thing. I do think this deck is quite decent, but it probably has the hardest early game of any challenge deck run so far. So this is it, the final run of the day. At this point, I will settle for a sub of four. Bad, bad, terrible opener. Well, let's start here. Please, no clown. Good. That's a miracle.
All right, so gonna take a look at the drops here, then decide if we can fight Weevil or not. No, we gotta farm some more. There are some okay cards in there, including a 1500 attack card. I don't think it's quite good enough, though. Couple more. Also, no birds. How many birds have I gotten today in total? Like, one? Birds are so rare early game. Once again, quite bad. I'll take the 1k. One more than Weevil. No birds, but another armored zombie. Very good. This one's got Pluto, which can be uh, really nice versus Weevil. Get them in five. Six actually. Not great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alrighty, back to the campaign. Hopefully a bird is in the bird deck soon. Yo, bird! Bird is here, bird up. Uh, not much else though. My god, it actually happened. How many pyros do I have right now? Is it really zero? <laughs> Is it really zero? I got a couple. Um, this is an okay opener. <sighs> Start here. I'm really gonna keep the Buku. I'm not gonna keep the Buku. You can use that to get a better bird, but let's not count on it. Show me Toon Alligator. What is that? I'm sure that is. Hmm. Decision time. I should have made a dragon zombie. Looks like it'll be fine, though. Yeah, let's just do it. Put this guy in Pluto. My god, I might actually win. What a run. Imagine beating Weevil first try. One more turn. Excellent. Well, on paper, the hard part's over. We're past the early game wall. Now I can take my time, get some birds from Weevil. Get ready for mine. Buy a judgment hand at some point. A pow is good, that's what you want. Tyhone good, so a second bird card. I'm also gonna put in the wolf. So five total.
That's a bad start. you wonder why does Thunder Dragon have Jupiter as a secondary guardian star? Pluto makes sense, it's electric. But it's not really nature themed. I guess it's an animal? <laughs> That's a bit thin though. I got a bug from Weevil, can you believe it? Anything else? Yo, Marvelous! That's the jackpot card. Firegrass also very good. More warriors. It's looking promising. One more decent drop. And I'll move on to my. We're about to have a protagonist debut, I think. Odds of a Jirai, by the way, I just looked it up, 1 in 6 for Weevil. Feels a lot higher, but it says 1 in 6. This one is done. Try the next one. Slightly better opener. Maybe too many warrior cards. Let's go. 
Venus here. Aha! Okay, if I can just get a pyro, we're in business. You know, if I win this one, we're back to the campaign. I think this deck is good enough now. There it is. Protagonist debut. Look at that beautiful 2300. The best bird in the game. How was that an A pal? I thought for sure that was going to be a B. That's good though. Lucky. Second Mobilis, perhaps? No, I got nothing. I got a giant flea and a rogue dog. <laughs> you know what, those two can unironically go in the deck for now. They are okay beatdowns. Oh, and Sleeping Lion could probably go in. Ah, but maybe not. I don't know. All right. Which is bigger, Giant Flea or Big Insect? Oh, you better believe it's Giant Flea. For proof, check out the clip where the biggest Giant Flea I've ever seen defeats a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Gigantic Flea. Speaking of, oh my god, there he is. Dark Elf, yeah, man. Bad start. It's rare for my to start with that. So, we're now playing for the bird. Oh, uh, bird's not even good now. <laughs> we're gonna use Raigeki and then hope for the best. That's all I can do. The equip's not in the deck, so I can't beat this card straight up. That's good. Still a chance here. Nice.
Well, I mean, it lived up to its name, right? It definitely blocked. Go. Try to block this, though. Hang on. Moon. Oh, that's so uh, sad. I might still win. I can't believe Mai has that card. Do I even attack with this guy? I guess I do. Every point of HP counts. Whew. We did it! We defeated my once. I'm pumped. So many bird cards are coming our way. You. I'm gonna rattle off a list of birds you can get from my. It's an insane list. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven birds, three mobiluses, a mountain, two mountains. Oh my god, now we're in there. Now we're in there. You can get Mountain 3%, Darkfire Dragon, which is a Pyro, 2%, Skull Redbird, 6%, Faithbird, 6%, Mobilus, 4%, Taihon, 6%. I'm keeping the Buku. Wing Dragon number 2, which is a bird, 4%. Fiend Refraction, 4%. Nivatori, 4%. Karama, 4%. Droll bird of 4%. This is where you want to be. This is where you want to be. God, if I just get one bird, if I can get one bird, I can make a chicken here. With the epic Buku fusion. Oh my god, where are the birds? Did I not just put like 10 of them in my desk? Well here it's not even necessary, I can just do this. trade. Clear the field. Oh, I forgot about the trap card. Should have attacked with uh, Bean Soldier first. No big deal. Oh, thank you. I'll add. Wait a minute. Okay, it's fine. I'll add that third Mobilis, thanks. It's such a cool fusion. I wish you, the player, could do that, you know? 
feels like a waste. If I was gonna save up IRL for a 1 million star chip card, unironically, it would be Harpy Lady. You can make a Harpy Sisters, and you can make a Harpy Dragon. Oh, another one of these. I see. Honestly, I think we might just be done with the my farm. A third mountain. Another faith bird. I think we're done. How's the run? This is actually the best bird run I've ever had. Got to my pretty quick. And those two my farms were excellent. I can put in a third mountain here. And we'll put in Mystical Moon too. Komori, maybe? Probably not. I think at this point it's, um, Necessary. Deck is looking good. Yeah, so interestingly, the judgment hand the farm was removed. So we just skipped villager one altogether. Saves a ton of time. Like 15, 20 minutes, even with the first try. Because you don't have to fight set of one, and you skip a lot of cutscenes. That does mean we're only going to have the one judgment hand for later, unless you start with it, which is like a 1%. But I believe that's worth it overall. Yeah, Heath's got to have all the pyros we need, as well as two more mystical moons. Ooh, that's a good hand. Epic fusion. And we do want a BCD here as well. I can't believe I'm saying this. Keith has been the easiest duel so far. <laughs> Easier than Rex, arguably. See, now the deck is good. It's actually a good deck now. It's only gonna get better.
So, Pyros. Dragon Zombie I'll put in. Uh, hello? Oh, nice. Zero Pyros. Horrible. Come on, Keith. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any here. No? Might need to buy some. Three mountains on the tracker. I think we're up to date. So I have to keep doing this farm until I get maxed out mystical moons. Wasteland, invisible wire is good. Hey, there we go, nice. Still no pyros though. Overall, I'm happy with that. Put that in. Drop rates. Um... 3.13 for Mystical Moon. The Pyros are like one and a half, two percent each, and there are four of them. I'm oh, sorry, three. Hmm. Mystical Wire is one and a half. And then Blast, Juggler, Fire Raper, Flame Ghost are all two. Winnable. Very winnable. No longer winnable. <laughs> Dang. What do you do here? I can't fuse these. It'll prioritize flame. I guess we're doing this. I, you know, I got time for this. I got time for this. Oh my god, it boosts the harpy. <laughs> I got outplayed by Keith. Bird? Thank it. Should be a win. I'm not intimidated by this. What is that card? It was like a monster coming out of a chest. Did you see that? What was that? 
Never seen that card in my life. Yorones? What is a Yorones? That sounds a fake. Get that card. I'm gonna look it up. Dude! I got greedy. I could have won anyway, but I wanted to save one attack. Irresponsible gameplay. Well, this Yoronzo card is not on Yugipedia. <laughs> so it must be called something different in this game. Mysterious. Oh, it's Yoronzo. Oh. Oh my god, typo in the chat. Two invisible wires. Still no pyros. Never mind. We got one. Finally. Finally. Flame ghost, I'll take. Alright, let's try it again. Yaranza. At the moment, there are only chickens on the field. Okay, here we go. You can get it from nowhere. <laughs> you can get it from nowhere. It's one of the game's unobtainable cards. <laughs> no wonder I've never seen it before. Mystery Soul. Kind of a neat card. Yaranzo. I wonder what the animations look like. You could see them, but only on your opponent's side. Yaranzo. Just terrible drops. Do I have enough for a judgment hand? Probably not. Not even close. of the books. No pyro. But, can I win? No Venus either.
You know, some call this a twin-headed Thunder Dragon. I call it. Reset try again. Or get Raigeki. I GG. I just GG. So. Or fake out? Didn't take the bait. I'm definitely starting to feel the lack of pyros at this point. It might be worth investing some of the star chips I've been saving up for a judgment hand into some cheap pyros. It's an idea. It's a 2k. Still no pyro. Amai oh, doesn't drop many pyros. This is the place you want to get pyros from, actually. Dark fire is only 2% for mine. Still nothing. <laughs> That's actually insanely unlucky. I could make a 2500. It's just not going to do enough for me, though. Got to go for this. Good try. If I lose again, I will buy a Pyro. This is better, see? This is all you need. Dragon is a pirate. Yeah. Should have done that instead. I don't know why, it's such a weird one, but it works. For example, I'll just show this off.
that also gets you an extra fusion for a BCD. Okay, two pyros and our final equip. I think we're actually ready to go. Um, I'm gonna buy a pyro. I'm buying one. The cheapest one is Flame Viper. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for Judgment Hand, that's fine. Yeah, it's true. Flame Cerebrus, aka Flame Cerberus, is not Pyro, only a beast card. Okay, putting in four. Also, do I have any other dragons? I do. I'm going to put in uh, Komori. Just putting in five. Put in more machines, probably. That. So now we're just going to try and make it all the way to the end of the world tournament. It's a straight shot from here. Oh my god, here it is. Fancy. Metal Dragon plus any bird being a chicken is really powerful. It's a versatile combo.
Um, nothing really interesting here. That's not great. Am I about to just lose? Maybe. can't go Mercury here, because the wall. Oh, whoa. Who am I fighting right now? Pegasus has this? Wait a minute. What are the odds of Pegasus playing this card? I'm going to ride Gaki, obviously. Pegasus with a 3k. Oh wait, I'm, it's Bakura. <laughs> I just completely forgot Bakura was even in the game. <laughs> I've said it before, this is the most forgettable duel. Bar none, I always forget about Bakura. That's what I get for looking at chat. Am I just gonna lose now? I guess we're playing defensive. Wait for an equip. Oof. This guy trying his best to be forgettable no longer. Dude, it's actually fun. I'll live with that. Yeah, it's fun. I'm curious, what are the odds of Bakura playing a 3k turn 1? Piercing light, couple of those. Time wizard, okay. Alright, so the odds of a 3k from Makura are pretty high. 18%. No, no, excuse me, accumulative. Because he's got two. Actually, 36%. That's very high, yeah. So one third of the time, you're gonna have to deal with a 3k. There's a win barring MBD.
That doesn't work on Tyhone, interesting. Widespread would be nice. Now, a mistake I made in previous attempts was trying to get a Tenza Apows before Megamorph. It's way too inconsistent, because with High Mage AI, unlike Low Mage AI, harder to manipulate. Ooh, good bird here. Space. And uh, we can make room for the dragon, I think. This will work. I think we go turn one here. I can, I can actually do this either way. That works and that works. Let's do this one. Yeah, so far so good. It's been a successful chicken run. We'll see if that continues. Good. Very efficient, quick, and the BCD. That's what you want to see. Widespread ruin. <laughs> and we still got 14 cards to go, huh? Hey now. Hey now. I'll tell you what, that kind of changes things a little bit. What it means is we just go do the Megamorph farm right now. At least a couple. <laughs> gotta, gotta get triple Megamorph. It's non-negotiable. Only one, only one widespread. What a shame. Only one. I guess we'll put in these dragons up here. And like, a zombie? I guess. That should be fine. Maybe a couple more zombies. Yeah.
Goal time here. Where are the birds? Uh, awkward. Goal time here is sub four. Count is 2-0. Dude. Wait, this works. Never mind. Ignore me. I mean, it kind of works. No works. No, it doesn't. Do I go Mars here? I'm gonna go uh, Mars. 100 short. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. Excellent. Already up to nine. This deck has no problem getting fusions in. Also, shout outs to Buku. insurance Finally, an effective attack. That's 12 1. That's the card I want later. Okay, I can win in two more turns.
Okay, let's go. Good A tech, I think. Favorite card in the game? Hard to say. On my first playthrough, it was Time Wizard. But that's changed. There are so many contenders, it's hard to narrow it down. So many cool cards. Am I nice? Megamorph number one! And the rest was. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Megamorph in a widespread? Don't mind if I do, thanks. Thank you. Put both of those in, of course. Wouldn't mind a bright castle though, just saying, just saying. I can always get that from Kaiba, I guess. From the top, 2-0. What about you? What's your favorite monster? Post your favorite monster card in the chat right now. What do you think? Summon Skull, good choice. Red Eyes is such a cool card. I wish it was better in this game. For me, I swear it might honestly be Quagar Hercules. I love Quagar Hercules. The only good bug fusion. It's got Sun for Gate Guardian. Good card. While it's obviously the most important card in the game, I'm also a huge fan of Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. It just makes this game so fun to play. Look at that spirit of the books, oh my god. Better than a chicken.
I'm a bit concerned I need one more effective. He's gotta actually attack me. I'm sure he will. There we go. Bad eight sec. Oh for fifteen. That really hurts. The first one was good though, so I'm not too upset. But yeah, getting zero good cards from Pegasus and fifteen card, very, very unlikely. Hello Tomashi, thank you very much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream today. Uh oh, Nightbot is going crazy. What's wrong with the raid message? Let me see. Too many caps! Sorry, Nightbot's a little bit particular about caps. Don't worry, everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. We're doing A text right now. This part's always hard to explain. I'm trying to get in no particular order 15 fusions, 4 effective attacks. One face down card, one trap card. Damn. Also need one equip. One magic card. I had to wait longer than like seven turns or something. The calm card count has got to be 27 or under. And then I need less than 7,000 life points. So you got to do a lot of complicated stuff like that. But it's all worth it to get widespread and especially Megamorph. Best card in the whole game. Goal time is sub four hours. Is that six? <laughs> Kinda lost track. I think it's six fusions. Count is 9-1. The main thing you want to keep track of turn to turn, number of fusions, which is the first number, and the number of effectives, which is the second. Yeah, it's always a fun time. Can I get an equip here? I can just trade, actually. I'm really enjoying all of these challenge runs. So far we've done uh, Bug Deck, Warrior Deck. And this will be the third one.
now I've got a slow roll. A little bit. I know I can attack with this guy. I gotta be confident in my count. I'm pretty sure I've got enough effectives right now. So let's do... This. This should be good to go. Megamorph, Megamorph. I see. Well, no Bright Castle. But take a look at the... Tr we can come back for Bright Castle later, I guess. Save, you better believe we're saving. So getting triple, triple within three Atex is way above average. I've seen better, but it's really, really... So we've got six equips to work with. That is enough for the rest of the game. I would have liked some more. But um, I might try and just win with this. We can definitely do some a pows with this and come back later. Right, so what to get rid of? for sure is redundant. The zombies can go. Probably about right. I think this is a good deck for now.
So I think the play later, if I need more cards, I'll go Kaiba Atec. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy, oh boy. Megamorph Chicken. Kaiba's got a lower chance of Bright Castle. It's 1% uh, lower about compared to Pegasus, but you can get Crush Card, which is obviously insanely good. And look who it is! <laughs> it's a Blue Eyes. Very efficient. So unlike with other challenge decks, at this point, what you want to do is rush to a Tenza. This guy is like tier two Mai in terms of the bird drops. You can just get a Crimson Sunbird straight up with an APOW. It's pretty good odds. It's like 3%, 2.5%, 3%. Maybe next time, probably not. If only Red Eyes was considered a bird, I'd be all over that Jono 2 farm. Um, here we go. I barely beat that toon alligator. Good job.
Okay, let's see if I can first try this. What am I going to replace the mountains with? I mean, mountain is the meta card. You can't play any non-meta field cards in this challenge. So I can't try to do any, like, AI baits. Uh, maybe just some other birds. Actually, maybe a dragon or two. And one bird. Oh, I got a skull red bird! From Mage Soldier. And a blue winged crown. Oh! Oh! That's pretty lucky. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gonna have to rely on widespread to start. Bird. You know, some people say widespread is actually the best card in the game. I think my personal list, Megamorph number one, and I don't know about MBD versus widespread. It's surprisingly close. I guess I'll go MBD two. MBD is so good. Crush card? Isn't Crush card just worse than Raigeki? I don't think there's a single situation that's better. It's cool though, second to Raigeki. It is better in terms of drop rate. You got me there. Although you could argue it drops, quote unquote. <laughs> it drops. From the initial deck, 50%. That's pretty high. Hey, I'm gonna put in that Metal Dragon I just won. That's a Pyro. Hopefully I win, because I would like to keep that card. Uh, looks pretty good here. This is promising. Yeah. Is it enough to win? It is not. Close, though. Okay. I think we're in there. Burn too many cards that this is not going to be an ape how I don't think. But you can still get some decent birds from BCD.
More importantly, I get to keep my Metal Dragon, which is nice. That's a cool Tier 2 Pyro. Not too many of those. Okay, so this is potentially the final farm of the game. It's either the final farm or the second to final farm. Okay, just enough. Queen bird, actually kind of bad. Yeah, not great, not what we're looking for. Let's crunch some numbers here. Oh yeah, I might have a chance to win still. What are the odds of an unboosted chicken winning on turn one versus this guy? One moment. Oh, extremely low. Less than 10% of the time, unboosted chicken's enough to win. This is actually really interesting. But with one boost, Chicken is able to win 75% of the time. Okay, so those are the odds that we're working with. Basically, you gotta get some equips. Turn one Megamorph is huge. Turn one Megamorph with a chicken beats literally everything. Blue winged crown again, that's going in. What do you do here? Do you go for the 10%? Do you stall a turn? I think you probably... I have no idea. We're gonna go for the 10%. By 50. By 50. It's over. Right, I'm gonna throw in the towel. <laughs> I 
I'm trying to lose here, man. There we go. Oh, I see. This time. Very cool. I'm going for this. This time, no pyro. This might be enough. Dang. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, this has been a rough start. This has been a rough start to the ATAC, or the APAOTHON, rather. It'll pick up, hopefully. has to be as drawn out as possible. Okay, this is more like it. That's the best possible opening hand. So this is a win, but is it an A power win? I'm not gonna equip here. You burn too many cards that way. Well. Actually, I think it's probably fine here. I should be able to get away with this. And once I get one APAL, all the rest are going to get much easier. That equip, that second equip was the right call. We're looking for Punished Eagle, Crimson Sunbird. Those are the jackpots. Skull Redbird, come on. Crow Goblin's good. Yo, jackpot! Not bad. Three Crow Goblins and a jackpot card going in. And a Pyro. Almost forgot. Almost uh, neglected to put this one in. So one, two, three, four. The tracker is already filling up. And this is why this farm is so clutch for this deck. Just insane value.
This is the exact same duel as last time. Crimson Sunbird is the signature card of this deck, but Punished Eagle, who we've yet to see, is also quite good. And there's also uh, Monstrous Bird, which is a 2k. Crimson, another jackpot. And there's a Monstrous and a Wing Eagle. Uh, Queen Bird can go in, I guess. One, two, three, four. four. Sub 3 is not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Not completely. Although sub 4 is still the more realistic gold time. A metal dragon is a pyro, which is why it's in the deck. Nice. Clutch the equip. And it's a tier 2 pyro, so any bird, a plus metal dragon, is a chicken. See too much there. I think the best is Peacock, which is 17. Ah, I'll put it in.
Oh, I have to forfeit now. <laughs> uh, oops. That was gonna be an APAL. I was wondering if I was gonna make that mistake today, and yes, I did. That's the danger of playing that card. It's technically non-meta, despite being a pyro. Yo, let's go! And you either gotta eat like a 30 minute time loss as per the rules if you win with an illegal card, or... But but check this out. Or you just lose on purpose. Kind of a waste of a couple minutes. But this run's been really good, so no big deal. Hey, that's my combo. What the heck? Alright, no more of that. If I make that mistake again, I will be taking Metal Dragon out. Bad opener. Probable L. Definite L. Unless. Man. Once again, let's try. Go for the equip. I can actually tie this card. That's wild. Oh, I gotta take the uh, widespreads out, I think. That's fine. I'm getting the boost too here. Okay. Deck B Skull. Brutal. Brutal. Maybe though, if I face up the trap card, I can still A out. I don't think so. We're gonna see.
It wouldn't matter anyway. My life points are too low. Cool. Okay, just cause I'm mad. Check out that winged eagle. That is an actual bona fide ultimate killer. Probably someone's favorite card, if I had to guess. Good. I think we're back on track. Here we go. Hang on. It's so cool just having the card, you know? Get at least a couple more jackpot cards before moving on. I don't necessarily have to max out, but I should be close. And I have really no more use for star chips. I'm gonna burn two. So close. Not enough though. I think I probably should go for one or two more equips. I, I think we're gonna go ahead and do some Kaiba 8x before the end. Get one more good card from that. Good. 
Oh, he got the B-Skull this time. Unfortunate. At least it's a quick loss. Oh, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. Just make one of these. Make one of these. It's weird. It's unorthodox, but it'll work. I just realized, in the card art, Monstrous Bird is holding a cow. Look at this. There's a cow there. It really is a Monstrous Bird. It might be the cow from Heavy Storm, you're right. Is that a crossover? Didn't this card come first? I think it did. So really, the Heavy Storm cow is from Monstrous Bird. Speaking of, there's another one. Wing Eagle's good. But no jackpot card. All right, this one I actually am going to take out um, Metal Dragon. I am scared of that mistake happening again. And we got plenty of Tier 2s now. Good question. I'm not sure. I doubt the cows in the battle animation. Although I could be wrong. We should maybe take a look at that. I'll make a note. Anyway, any chance at a sub three is gone at this point. This farm taking a little too long. okay on LP, unless he has a second one of those. Then it might get dicey. Eh? 
That's fine. We are going to be getting one more equip, which will hopefully address that issue. Or, back up, you get a crush card. Another monstrous bird, and that's it. Man, not a single punished eagle. Quite unlucky. Ooh, I like this. It's a good turn. Thank you, King. That's really good luck. Okay, another A, pal. If I get one more jackpot, I'm going to consider leaving. Even with zero eagles. Nothing. Reminder, it's about 5%, in fact, over 5% per card to get a jackpot. So the odds of not getting anything, I will calculate during this duel here. Oh, yeah, we're getting very unlucky. That's too bad. It's a jackpot on average. Once every two duels. Well, to be fair, the Pegasus A tech was pretty crazy. Lost another coin flip. 
man. So we're what, like either two for nine or two for ten or something? I'm sure there was one or two BCDs in there. Not good. Very unlucky. But it just takes one good one. There we go. Hey, all right. I had to do the math and complain, but a double jackpot. We at least have one eagle. Save, couple more Atex, and then it's a rush to the finish. All right, Kaiba, let's go. For this, I actually want to take out my strong birds. Last card, what am I doing? Just pick something. Um, okay. Troll bird. So we're gonna keep doing this until I get at least one more equip. That is to say, Bright Castle. Hmm, well, this is awkward. No birds. No birds at all. Zero. Hey, what's up, lady? Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream today. What were you working on? We are at the tail end now of this run. Might go on another 90 minutes or so, don't get me wrong. But this is the final farm right here. Very exciting. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, 8-1. Yeah, so far the run's been really good. The Atenza farm was kind of rough. But Pegasus was crazy good. I'm gonna... What am I doing here? You know what? I'll make one of these. But yeah, this deck's good enough to win. We're just looking for a little bit extra to push it over the top. We should be good to go now. Raigeki's coming up. Uh, is it? <laughs> Maybe it's not coming up. I didn't miss anything. Nice. Harpies is okay. Nice. I'll just go for one more. We got it first try. Might as well try and double down. I got the deck set up and everything. But I'm happy. We got the Bright Castle. And a bonus Harpies. I mean, you gotta get one Harpies in a bird run, right? It's a feather. It's on brand. Two, zero. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was a widespread, but sadly, my fourth one. It's a good problem to have too many widespread ruins. Oh well. Four, one. If I could make a Harpy's Pet Dragon, it would not be allowed. For the same reason, you can't use Gaia the Dragon Champion in a Warrior deck. Like, it feels like you should be able to, but it's technically not allowed. Close, though. It's borderline. Trap card plus Raigeki. All right, all good on effectives. actually. There's no risk of MBD, etc. here. So I should be able to win this turn. It's gonna be uh, as quick as possible. Any quicker, it would technically be a, uh, a B-Tech. Yeah, here I think we just go with, actually, you know what? I gotta wait one more turn because I'm uh, one too high on cards. Go with this. This could be the final farm. Crush card, we're out of here. Damn. 
So we got a crush card, a bright castle, a couple of dragon capture jars, and the warrior elimination. Yeah, let's go. Well, I'll build the deck first. Okay. Definitely feeling reasonably confident here. what I want. I've got... S yeah, 16 birds. Um, is that enough? Maybe it's not. I could put in a couple of peacocks. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and try this. Get rid of these two, put in these two. I think that's better. All right. Oof. The farm is over. We've built the deck. Now I gotta play the game. Now there are a couple more chances for good bird cards. Skullbird, which I'm pretty sure is a 1900, right? You can get that from Meadow Mage or Mountain Mage. Oh my god, this is so sick. <laughs> That's a win. But the drop rate's like less than a percent. Ape House slightly higher, but still really bad. Other than that, though, I can just ignore all the card drops. Oh, that's right. This is the one relevant card that doesn't take Mystical Moon right here. But it does take Megamorph. Oh, I didn't put in Crush Card. Let me do that after this duel. You gotta make room for that for sure. Pumpkin. Shout out to Pumpkin. to jugglers.
No equips. That's real bad. Wait, no birds! <laughs> no birds, that's real bad. Are you joking, man? I'm gonna keep this thing. Any bird, I win. Any bird, that's fine. Okay, phew. Might as well go ahead and knock out Seto too. Actually, I suppose the optimal thing to do is give myself my final chance at a Skullbird and then we'll do Seto too. No reason not to do it in that order. Not bad. Thank you, Lion, for the good luck. We will definitely need it down the stretch here. Absolutely, every time I get a good clear of one of these challenges, I'm going to try and put them on YouTube. And you know, in the future when we revisit them, they'll probably get beaten. Like, I want to come back and get a better bug run for sure. But it's nice to have the videos up there. Could this be the run? The bird up run, we're going to see. Looking pretty good. I got Napal. Did I get a Skullbird? 0.98% huge. 
I got a Skull Knight. <laughs> I got two Skull Knights and zero Skull Birds. Now, isn't that just a little bit sad? The worst would have been MBD. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Uh, do we have time? Uh, yeah, we probably got time. Well... No. I don't think we have time. Because if it's Gate Guardian, it's got to be Megamorph plus one, which is just hard to pull. And that's with Mount. That's uh, neutral, rather. So, um... No, Mountain then Megamorph hope for it. I don't know. That seems a bit committal. I'm gonna keep the mountain. Though. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, it's Beast Skull. Nice, nice. See, a mountain actually would have been bad there. Okay. Looking promising. Here we throw the mountain. You know, if this guy, uh, if Crimson Sunbird had sun, I could be Gay Guardian right now. And now I can. Wait. There we go. Okay, so we should be in the clear. No way. This guy. This guy almost got away with it. Kepra low key harder than half the final six. You know what? I take that back. High key harder than half the final six. Can't wait to see what Seto has in store today. Gate Guardian, I want to say it's like a coin flip for this guy. No, it's a uh, one in three, actually. It's not that bad. Wouldn't have mattered either way, I think. Okay. Another win.
show me widespread. That is just a whole lot of nothing. I will keep this card and burn the rest. equips here. That'll work. That was a pretty reasonable set out too. Alright, so we got uh, Forest, which is going to be easy, and Ocean, which might be tricky. I'm going to go there first. Nice sewage in. Oh yeah, there's also a bug run. Yeah, warrior run was actually the second one. And this bird run is going to be the third run. After this, it's looking like it's going to be fiends. But yeah, we got two at the moment. Soon to be three, fingers crossed. If I can close the deal right here. I've enjoyed my time with all of these, but that bug run was something special. <laughs> Had some wild moments. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think I should probably just do this. It wasn't enough. Well, now we gotta do this.
This wins. Just go Mercury, yeah. Okay. One more to go. It is an interesting novelty. You know, it makes sense that these games before the official card game came out were really weird and different, but even after the official card game came out, a lot of the video games continued to be quite weird. Duelists of the Roses for sure. False Found Kingdom is super weird. There are some weird GBA games too. It became like a series tradition. Weird and high difficulty are kind of the trademarks of early video game Yu-Gi-Oh. Many equips. Too many equips. But you know, I mean, it's probably fine. I think I just do this. Oh, it doesn't take Mystical Moon? That's not in my notes. I got to add that to my notes. Mobilis does not take Mystical Moon. My feeling was because of the Mars Guardian sign, that would have been fine. It's still fine. Hmm. Not in love with this start. Not even gonna try. Going straight to defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. I wonder what that is. It might be like a Neko Gal equip. gonna try going for this. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Thank you so much for the 29 months. We're doing very well today. Yeah, nice. Okay. Megamorph eventually. Oh, it's bad now. Oh, it's fine. Just one equip. Huge. Now we win. Okay, we're on to the final six. Gonna have a little over 50 minutes to win. And then for now, at least, this deck is done. And the birds will finally be up. But I don't know, though. Final six is impossible. One final adjustment, gotta take out the Judgment Hand. We'll put in its place. Probably another Pyro. It's not a bad idea. I don't know, maybe I've got too many Pyros. Let's go with a Crown. With a first try, it's going to be sub three and a half, which is really pretty good. What this is really going to come down to is it so often does. Draw Megamorph. Draw Widespread. Still no equip. How about another one? He's 
down to 24. How about another one? Just no equips in the deck. in. Just wanted to make sure. Excellent. That's what I need for Haishin. What are we feeling? Double Megamorph? Yo, that's one! Okay. Right play here. Do you keep the Pyro? Yes. Keep the Pyro. Exceptionally good start. It's not Gate Guardian, but I'm still gonna need another equip. Doesn't really matter. Dang. Now it's decision time. No back row. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's down big. Even if he mega morphs, like, who cares? That's huge. Uh, keep this? God, maybe not. Maybe I throw the mystical moon. I'm gonna throw the mystical moon. He's down so low, it's not gonna matter.
top deck, dude. Nice, Kazujin. That hurts so bad. Uh, well, now I gotta go for a back row, it's over. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Top deck, and he got the right odds on the uh, Mega Morph. Very sad. Man. Just like that, it's done. I got Heishin'd. I think the play was good. Just unlucky. <laughs> Kazajin made all the difference. Let's try again. There goes 10 minutes. I believe that kills the sub three and a half. Now we're playing for sub four. I say, pal. Oh, S pal, even. Dang. My favorite deck so far has been the bug deck. The real obstacle with the bug run is getting a Jirai Gumo. You can buy one, but you need a second one from Weevil. 0.27% drop rate is really rough. I don't need both of these. But if you can get one in a reasonable amount of time, and you get a Kuwagata Alpha, it's so fun. Because you get like a million equips guaranteed each attempt. It's really, really fun. Best. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's a 3600. We're moving backwards. I lost the Haishin. About to lose to Neku. Is it really going to be a Sebek L next time? So, gotten to get an equip here. 
only out. I got an equip, but it's not enough. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. I mean, maybe. Can you fake this guy? You can fake this guy out. Let's go for one of these. 25%. You got him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. That could be enough. Dude. Oh, suicide glitch. Right. Right, exactly. That makes sense. <laughs> Very nice. I gotta be more careful. Um, the concern is he top decks. And that could potentially kill me in one shot. Now it's fine, huh? Oh, I should've let him attack. <laughs> should've let him attack. A very fortunate win. Back to Haishin. It's not a great opener, but a Megamorph wins. And you know I've got three of those. MBD again. Still need that Megamorph. Dang. No Harpy's good. Good. Okay, one more equip. Looking for one more equip. It's gotta be this turn. Wait, what's that? Wait, what's that? Wait, what's that? No, dude! <laughs> this guy. Oh, I got my equip, but of course. Oh, Jesus. It's just, what do you do?
I technically have a chance with a back row. Well, two just insanely unlucky Aijins back to back. No back row, GG. Unreal. Not even a wall. And you can see why when I watch the tournament for this game, and I see people getting Trihorn Dragon on Nightmare, it kind of blows my mind. It's the yin and yang of this game. But I'm always unlucky. Uh, someday, Haishin will cooperate. I might as well have lost at Neku. If this does not sub four. We will stop and try again later. It's got a sub 4. This deck is super capable of a sub 4. I'm not going to settle for like a, a, a 410 or 415. Epic. Okay. Very epic. I believe that means the other one is definitely a fake trap. Oh, what is it? What is it? I have no idea. Obviously, it's not an acid trap hole. I got time.
Down to summon skull. Okay. Gotta find that other equip. I can't even ride Geki here. Alright, let's try a fake out. See if I can get this twice in a row, who knows? No, not this time. I got two to three more tries, then the run is dead, unfortunately. Another weakness of the bird deck, unlike even bugs, birds do not have any good guardian stars, no sun on any relevant monsters. Best sun is Faith Bird, which is 1500. So that's something you can't really incorporate. The only exception is Mercury on Chicken, which is good for maybe Ultimate, and definitely Blue Eyes. That's it though. My god, look at this field. It's gonna be one more next turn. Not bad. Okay, we're on to Haishin once again. You think I'll get insanely unlucky three times in a row? I do. I think it's gonna happen. Call me a pessimist.
I'm not in love with this. If he's got a Harpies, I don't have a plan B here. Okay, that's perfect. His best is a twin headed. One equip chicken wins. One equip? One equip? Yes! Yo! Hang on! Could it be it? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, really tempted to go mountain here. Yeah. Unbelievably tempted. But no, the better play is this. Mm -hmm. And then crush card next turn. Should be a GG. If it's a top deck, I at least have a card on the field for defense. So I like that move. Okay, got him. Kaiser Dragon. This card is so bad, Crush Card almost doesn't work. That's an easy item. That's an easy item. Got him. We're halfway done. Time to take out the mountain and put in the Dragon Capture Jar. Yeah, I love Crush Card. It's got a good sound effect. We'll put in the Harpies as well. Okay. He's the best Yu-Gi-Oh! player of all time. What's he cooking up today? It's just terrible. Oh, that's just terrible. Gotta throw the equip here. At least I have a usable card in this hand. Oh, it's MBD, huh? Okay. Okay. It's not that bad. Oh! Okay. Do I throw this, though? Yes. What's next? Back row is next. Okay. That's out of the way. You think he's got another one? That's uh, my final wide spread. <laughs> he's got another one. He's got another one. All right. Still no equip. That's fine. Oh, I should have gotten Mercury here. It's fine. Good. Oh. Yeah, let's just, uh, well, I 
the better call here might actually be to hold on to these for a turn. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> I will now we got time to do this. Now we got time for this. And I just might as well get rid of these. That is what we call in the business a 5800. <laughs> this is pretty good. Mercury short. Okay, GG. My god, a reasonable Seto. It's a fun duel. Always a fun duel with Seto. Even when it's ultimate, it's fun. Alright, so Dark Knight. Do I want to put an amount in for either of these final two? For Nightmare, I'm thinking definitely not. I don't know. I think we play for Megamorph. Harpies is good here. Best card from this guy is an MBD. Promising. See, now if he back rows, I can harpies. Okay, I might. I might. It's a magic card, I might. Magic card to trap card. Is that an upgrade? <laughs> I think it's worse. Let's see what he's got. Not good enough. It's not good enough. Excuse me? We, what is that trap card? It's actually totally fine. This will activate my widespread. My god, you're right, it is bad reaction to some OG. Lol. Lol. One more. As Nightmare himself says, one more game.
Crow Goblin W. No mountain. Well, I mean, I might as well put in a mountain over Harpies. Harpies is genuinely pointless. But it can be double-edged here. I've got nine of them. A lot of monster removal. No equips. Ultimate's gone. God, that widespread is huge. Um, this is a tough one now. This is a tough one now. I definitely do this in burn. Do I also burn crush card? I think the answer is yes. Play for Megamorph. Next question, defense or attack? I'm gonna attack. Okay. Could it be? I gotta survive this turn. I can set up protection. It'll be over. One turn. This is it. Yes! Huge! Um, doesn't really matter which one. I guess we'll start here. Excuse me? What is that? <laughs> he got the top deck gate guardian. Not today. Not today. Bird. Hang on. Bird up. Really fun run. This deck is definitely the best of the challenge decks I've done. Way better than bug deck. A little bit better than warriors. Definitely has some weaknesses. The main weaknesses on offer here. Bad early game, for sure. Not as many equips as some other decks, although Keith having Mystical Moon BCD is super nice. Otherwise, very solid. Easy to get Atex with. Some great farm opportunities with Mai and Atenza. This has been a lot of fun. So yeah, Fiend's gonna be next. I'll uh, get to work on that. Maybe that'll be ready by next Monday. This is a good run. This is a very lucky final six at the very end. The previous ones were ridiculous, but that one... Definitely on the easy side. But yeah, you can do it with birds, okay? Even one card, this would be possible. It would just take a couple of days. You could do it, though.